Hello friends, how is everybody doing? It's Miss Ashley. It's election day 2020 and Dylan said don't get political. So I'm just going to paint the American flag. That's what we're going to do. Some sort of a version. I don't know. I have a little helper sitting on my table as you will see and um, I don't know how that part of it's all going to work. This could be a total hot mess, but uh, my kids are at the park playing with the husband and it's quiet in my house. So I decided what the heck, what the heck, we're going to go paint. We're going to go paint and we're going to paint the flag and we're going to be patriotic today, no matter what the outcome is in my favor, not in my favor, in your favor, not in your favor, whatever. As long as you go out and vote and do your part, today's the day to make sure you've done it. If you haven't voted yet, get out there, people. This is the voting day. We voted already, um, but most of you probably voted already. So that's gonna be weird. This year's gonna be weird because I don't think it's gonna be over tonight. Like normally tonight we all sit and we watch, and we'll still sit and we'll watch, but I'll bet there's gonna be a bunch more coming in. I bet it's gonna be pretty close. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, that doesn't really matter. What matters is that we're here and we're gonna have some fun, y'all. I am excited. <clears throat> I got a frog in my throat today. Uh, no COVID, I don't go anywhere. But um, just frog, just frog in my throat. Cause the weather keep changing, it's, it's like changing where I live. Um, so if you guys hop on, we're gonna just paint some red, white, and blue mess on a canvas. I don't know exactly what it'll become. It might be painted by the cat <clears throat> by the end because the cat, let me show you what I've got going on. This is my workstation. And this is my work buddy for the day, apparently. The other one was just laying up here and he hopped down. So um, I don't know if we're gonna paint a mess or we're gonna have fun, but we're gonna do something, okay? Either way, mess or not, we'll still have fun. How about that? Let's uh, try to figure out how to zoom this in a little bit. How is everybody? Is everyone doing well? Let me know in the comments if y'all are doing well. That looks pretty good, huh? All right, we'll paint. Um, we are going to just, sorry, I gotta put my little cursor over here. We're just gonna use some palette knives because that sounds like a fun tool for the day we're having today. Palette knives, safer than other knives. So I prefer palette knives. Um, <laughs> I got some red, white, and blue mess over here and it's just gonna be abstract and it's gonna be America inspired. That's all. I don't know what it'll be. I just thought, why not? paint with all of you instead of by myself and we could chit chat in the comments and say hi and see what we're all up to and how the old day is going. I'm going to add some white uh, bits first, I think. And I'm just going to, like I said, we're going palette knife. It's going to be, I'm going to see if I can do the whole thing in a palette knife. I'm using my palette knife upside down because that's, that's how the day has started. Whoopsies. Um, <laughs> it's upside down. It feels like it's for I don't know, this one's weird right now. Um, so I'm just gonna be doing abstract flag-ish. I might add some words to it. I might add some other colors to it. I'm not really sure. It's not gonna be perfect, I can tell you that. It's just gonna be playtime. Anybody else here just pick up paint and colors and just play for fun? Um, I'm curious. A lot of times I sit down and I have like an idea and I kind of know sort of what I'm going to do and then it kind of let it take me where it takes me. But today I'm just like red, white, and blue colors and flag feel, I think. I mean, it looks like a flag feel. Maybe it should be going vertical. Nah, whatever. We'll go horizontal for it. Um, and that's it. And uh, we'll see. Anyways, y'all, guess what? I've got a bunch of paint parties coming up. I think I'm going to use a different knife. Well, I'm gonna try them all out today. Um, I got a bunch of paint parties coming up, okay? So if you guys are looking for some paint parties for the month of November and December, oh, look how pretty that is, you guys. Um, we will be having paint parties throughout November and December on Saturdays. Sometimes they're at 10 a.m., sometimes they are at 5 p.m., and that's Pacific time, okay? So just check. Usually my kid versions are earlier in the day, and my adult versions are later in the day, or family versions. You know, kids can do all of them. They're just a little more challenging, maybe. Although the kids who've been doing the paint parties, you guys, have totally been knocking them out of the park. They have been doing amazing. Amazing. I, I don't even know why I think there should be, like, kid party, parent party, whatever. It's just everybody party that's where we're at 
I'm bring a little bit down into here, but I think I want more of that later. So, um, yeah, we uh, have all these parties coming up. Check out craveartclub.com slash paint parties if you want to see them. This weekend's is going to be a cute truck. It's like the back end of a truck. You could put anything you want in it. I put in there um, pumpkin and some sunflowers, and I'll teach you how to do that. But if you were like, I want, oh, I like that blue that got in there, you guys. If you're like, well, I, I want to put a football in the back because I like football season, um, then you could totally do that. You know, it's up to you. Whatever you want to do, you get to do. Ooh, look at that blue. I dragged that in. That's fun. Oh, I like that. Um, so I'll show you how to paint it the way I do it, but then I also always offer other suggestions and ideas and whatever. Hi, Judy. How are you today? So um, those are, we have that last fall paint party coming up this um, Saturday. It is going to be at 10 a.m., because I have um, the Give Clean Water. If you guys don't know about Give Clean Water, when we get off here, go check them out. Um, but the Give Clean Water fundraiser is that evening, and my friend Kendra so nicely reminded me she won't make it to the paint party because that's the time of the, the Give Clean Water event. So I moved it to earlier in the day because I want to be at the Give Clean Water event so we can sponsor some people on getting, give, uh, getting clean water for their villages and uh, check out all the fun. Y'all, this is turning out really cool. What do you think? Let me know what your thoughts are on this little one. Um, I'm liking it so far. I can always, if I mess it all up in the end, I can just go back and pause the video and take a photograph and be like, that's when I liked it. <laughs> Try again. Because I want to add a bunch to it, but we'll see. So, um, anyway, so we have the fall paint party this Saturday. If anyone's looking for fun with their family, with their friends, on their own, whatever it might be. Um, we've been having a really good time. We've had a lot of families joining in the fun, which has been awesome to see. Um, we've had just single ladies joining in the fun. Um, and we've had uh, some kids painting, which has been great. Friends, we had friends from other countries even all hop on Zoom calls and then paint with us. That was super cool. And um, we've had a couple countries represented. Whoa, I just throw the knives um, at the parties, which has been fun. Um, so after this one, this is our last fall one, and then it's going to go into all winter. Okay, I'm adding a little red to that blue, which will be hopefully cool and not too purple because it's still a little bit wet. Um, but oh, that's pretty. So um, then we're going into winter painting. So we're going to have like a deer painting. We're going to have a watercolor. Normally I do a lot of acrylic, you guys, but I do watercolor also. And when I teach kids art, I do a lot of watercolor. Um, that makes it a little bit easier for cleanup for anybody who's like, I'd love to have my kids paint, but cleanup's a problem. Watercolor's easy. Um, so we'll do a watercolor snowman painting that was actually really successful last year. I did it as a... Um, just a time lapse and I posted it on the page here and I got like a reach of like 8,000 or something out of it and then I got um like I think there was like 3,500 views on it real quick and stuff so anyways we're gonna learn how to paint that one this year I didn't teach it last year uh so we're gonna learn it this year I think I need something up in here maybe a little blue to come across from this so um we're gonna do that painting this month we're also going to do the deer, and there's another one, you guys. I don't know. Have you been to my page? I can't remember what it is. I need help. Um, we're going to do the, gosh darn it, what's the last one? I don't remember, you guys. But we are going to be doing like a tree and Volkswagen sort of thing, or a truck and tree. I'm not totally decided on that yet. So it'll be fun. So if you guys are looking for paint parties, Creative Art Club com slash paint parties and if you have a family and you all want to do it i'm not gonna make you pick between kids like well we can only afford two of you to do it out of the four uh, the whole family is just one price okay i don't charge all different prices for the family because i've got kids and i couldn't afford to do anything if everyone was a different price so yep we just charge the one time y'all so don't pay for more than one if you're just paying for your family if you're paying for other friends or whatever go ahead and be nice um and, and help them out but that's what we've got going on. And here today, we're just going to be painting a little uh, reminder to get out and vote. You guys, this took like five minutes. I thought this was going to take a while. I like it just like this. 
Anybody else? What do you guys think? I like it just like this. I really, I've only been on here for 10 minutes and I'm, I could call this done, easily call this done because I like it right now how it is. Um, but since we're here, why not keep painting? I feel like now I should go grab a, another canvas and make a different version and just see how they all come out. Make a whole little flag collection today. That'd be fun. And then you guys, you know, if you make a flag like this, I've just used palette knife for the whole thing, which I love the palette knives. Um, but if you do this, you could have a whole collection and then you could put it up for 4th of July when 4th of July rolls back around too. How cool is that? That's real fun. I don't know, I'm liking it. I feel like maybe just a little bit right here and maybe just a touch more blue, but I think it's good. I think it's good. Anyone else? How's everyone's day going so far? I'm curious on, if you watch the replay, just say replay in the comments and let us know how your, your day's going. It's a weird day out there. I'm nervous about today, but hopefully everyone just stays calm, cool, and collected and has a good time and uh, respects everyone's, you know, wishes and how it all goes down. So we'll see. I want to add a little bit. And just, just a few little bits. I don't know if that helped or made it worse, but I did it. So that's where we're at now. <laughs> I don't know if I like it as much, um, but it's cool. It's kind of drippy stars, kind of across there. I think instead of adding black, I was going to go in with black lines, but I think I'm just going to do a little bit more of the blue um, as my line work instead of any black because it doesn't need black. It really doesn't. So we'll just drag a little bit of this in there. I think that's fun. Anybody ever worked with a palette knife who is gonna be uh, catching the replay or who might be watching this? Anyone do palette knife stuff? So fun. Kids would have a great time playing with a palette knife. Um, you don't really have as much control over it as you would with a brush, but uh, look how cool it works. And this is on canvas. I was going to do it on paper. Maybe I'll do the next one on paper, but um, I was going to do it on paper, but because canvas is kind of um, gritty, right? Um, it does catch a lot more of this texture than paper would because um, it's a little more rough and bumpy and you get all this really cool texture in here. Like I wish I could pick it up. So you get all that. Oh yeah, there you can see it. You get all that really cool texture in there because the canvas does have some texture to it. Whereas like a paper is just totally flat, right? So that, I like it. I just kind of like it like that. I think I'm gonna leave it like that. That was a thir that 13 minutes, you guys. <laughs> I finished that painting in 13 minutes um, and it was so fun. You guys could totally do this. So I'm gonna set it aside and I guess I'll, I'll maybe find time to do another one. What do you think? I like that one. Let's set that aside. All right. Um, we can do one more. Let's do one more. I was just going to do the one, but now we're going to do one more. Oh, I'm going to grab my, um, thanks for the hearts. I just dropped everything. This is the painting we're going to be painting this weekend, you guys, and you can do any color background. I've actually painted the background a couple different times, um, but you can, you can do any color background you want. I feel like this one kind of loses the, like it makes the sunflowers and the pumpkin kind of blend in too much instead of pop out. But um, a lot of people have really liked the sunset look. So just kept it simple and kind of fun. So that's what we'll be doing this Saturday. If you want to join us, it's, we do it all in a private group, like a pop-up group in Facebook. Um, so if you guys want to hop in on that, craveartclub.com slash paint parties is where you can sign up and then it'll send you the link to join the group. Okay, so let's do this one a little bit different. What do you say? Let's do, um, let's do some sort of like vote carved into this one. Why not? Okay, let's do another sort of a flag and then we'll do a vote carved into it. This will be on paper, so it might not be as cool. I don't know. Maybe it'll be cooler. I was gonna put like rainbow colors in it too. That didn't happen, apparently. Um, so I'm gonna start with my whites again because I did like starting with that white. Um, and I kind of want it different, but... I know it won't be that different. Anyways, yeah, I can already tell you right now, I don't like palette knife on paper as much as I do on canvas. Part of me wants to say, 
I'll come back in a few minutes and go get another canvas out of the garage because that went so fast. So, uh, who's hanging out here today? Does anybody want to say hello? I'm almost out of this red, but I love this red. This is the other thing. I use a lot of deco art paint because it dries fast and I love that for my paint parties and for kids art because it dries real quick and nobody has to really wait as long for it. But um, when you're gonna use a palette knife and you want kind of a thicker texture, you know, like oil paint is a thicker texture, but, um, or viscosity or whatever that fancy word is. Um, but it's, uh, it's nice to have some thicker paints on hand when you're gonna use like a palette knife uh, in many, in many cases like this, because it just, you know, it, it sits up on the canvas a little bit more or the paper and you're able to get a little bit more um, dry time out of it, which helps it to mix with other colors a little bit better. If you want that look, if you want it to dry real flat and real quick, then you might want a thinner paint, like a deco art paint. This is um, Blit Acrylic and um, Art Art District, which was from Aaron Brothers before they went out of business a few years back, right? So um, I just have a bunch of it sitting around left over, you know? So let's do another click flag. And this time we're going to write something on it. Hopefully. We'll see. We shall see. But then you'll be able to see the difference of what it's like on canvas versus on like a mixed media paper. Oh, I should have just done a whole different technique is what I should have done. But I did not. <gasps> Guess what? Switch, switch back to this blue little palette that I like here, palette knife, um, and kind of bring some of this in here. Now, if you guys want to just play around with paint and not feel like you know, you've got to make a beautiful painting because it's on a canvas and oh my gosh, there's so much pressure. Um, grab one of these awesome mixed media pads. We have a little store, like an Amazon affiliate store. You can go to craveartclub.com slash supplies. Um, and these mixed media pads last week, this is 11 by 14. You can use it for watercolor. You can use it for acrylic, whatever you want. These were, um, I think like 10 bucks, 11 bucks last week. They might still be, but I bought three of them last week. It's like, the best deal so good and the um canson watercolor papers were on sale the pads of that were on sale as well so um check that out if you're looking for something so it kind of sometimes will help people feel like a little less intimidated to get started because you can just put it in the mixed media pad and paint over it and move on to the next one but you also get to see your progress like if you fill up your mixed media pads over a few months you know you get to see how much you've grown and how far you've come in your learning when you can look back on your pictures from previous you know times that you painted so i love the mixed media pad a lot for that because i have i think a few of them filled up just from this year and you can see your growth you, you know even if you've been painting for a long time you can totally see your growth as an artist start to happen when you keep it all in a collection, like as a book. So especially for kids, that's great because they can see how far they come and then you can feel like, well, that one wasn't the best, but I took the idea from this and I put it over there with that and then I made something I didn't even realize I was gonna make, which is really cool. So all of our artwork, you guys, um, kind of gets us to the next best piece we're gonna do and it just keeps building like that. You don't have to worry that, you know, every single one be perfect um, or fantastic or want to even hang it on your wall. Most of my art, I just leave in my book. I don't even hang it on the wall. Um, but it is nice to be able to keep it like this also because look how little space this takes up. I could have 30 paintings right here and it's not going to take up any more space in my house than this little book takes up. But I can get all these ideas out, which is exciting. Um, so for gifts for your kiddos for Christmas, what a great idea this would be. Or, you know, for your wife or your husband or whoever it might be. Um, you know, this might be a great gift for them. Just keep it all in a little mixed media pad and then they can play and have fun when that, as, as much as they want to, right? So we have another flag. It's still got texture. I mean, it's still got a lot of texture. With a palette knife, the key is to not press really hard. Okay, so if you are gonna use the palette knife, don't press too hard 
on it because the lighter you press, the uh, more texture you're gonna get. And uh, not having a ton of paint on the back also will help you with uh, getting more texture in there. Ooh, I like that, that's fun. I'm gonna add a little bit of blue over into my reds. So we're just painting the flag. No, uh, you know, one side versus the other. It's just all America today, okay? So um, we're just painting the flag for election day to remind people to go out and vote. Um, let your voice be heard and seen. And, uh, you know, it's our duty. It's our right, but it's our duty, I think, to speak up because people before us really did try to um, fight for this right for us. And out of even just respect to them, I think it's our, our job to get out and, and vote. But also to know what you're voting for, right? <laughs> so make sure you don't just go vote. You just willy-nilly it. Look it up. See what you got to vote on and then vote your way. And then in the end, we all still stay friends no matter what, right? I don't want all my pages to stick together, so I'm going to wipe that off just a wee bit. I got a bunch of globs over there. So yeah, we all still have to stay friends in the end. I know I have a lot of friends with different opinions and some people are like, how are y'all friends? You don't even think the same, but I think it's important to surround yourself with people of all walks of life. Um, it, it'll help you be a, a more sympathetic person and a more well-rounded person to surround yourself with a variety of people, right? You don't have to agree, you don't have to like everything, but I just think it's, the way I choose to be. So, might not be for everyone, but I think it's helpful to, to see others' struggles and triumphs and uh, concerns and all of this in life because we're all in it together, ultimately. We're not against each other, right? We're all in it together. So we've gotta see what works best to help everybody. All right, Dylan was like, don't get political. <laughs> he left with the kid, I said, like, don't get political. I'm not political. Sometimes I am. Um, but this is just about painting fun. That I like, you guys. I don't know about you. But I see how these are dripping and these are across, which I like. But I'm going to see what happens if I drag just a few bits through here. Ooh, just breaking that up a little bit, causing a little more chaos. Ooh, maybe that's fitting. There's just a little more chaos in that, and I like it. I like that. I don't like chaos, but I like how metaphorically it works for today, right? Yup. Yup, yup. That's a good one. I think that's fun. Now, let's see. What do we want to do? I wanted to put some words on it, like vote across it, but I don't want to ruin it. Hmm. I need to break up that white. I think I need to put something in here. Just a little bit of blue, maybe? Maybe just a little blue. So now, you guys, we're gonna have two paintings of flags, one on mixed media paper and one on um, canvas, and they'll both, total time for both pictures, less than 30 minutes. I mean, we're only at 23 minutes and this technically could be done right here. You guys, I wanted to put words on it and now I'm like, I don't wanna put any words on it, I love it. <laughs> You're like, you just painted the same thing twice, lady. Well, maybe. Maybe that's how I'm feeling today. And that's okay. What do you guys think? I think it's fun. I would love to know when you um, watch this in a replay. If you watch the replay, just say replay in the comments and um, what you thought of this little experiment this morning. This morning? It's one o'clock. That's morning to me. <laughs> it's still morning. For all of you on the East Coast, you're like, no, it's not. You're crazy. M, hi, M. I see you, and Gail, Gail and M. I didn't see you, I had my paint bottle right in front of the um, iPad where I can see who's up. Um, so I didn't see that you were there, I'm sorry. But that was kind of fun, I like it. I'm debating on if I want to make it a little bit more streaky, chaotic this way. Let's see, maybe, just in a few spots. If I just take the knife and I drag it in a few spots, that are still wet and kind of spread that out just a little bit. Even my paper towel feels patriotic. These are definitely gonna go up for 4th of July, y'all. 
Um, so we're just gonna, I'm looking for spots that are a little bit dry, I mean a little bit wet still um, and not dry so that I can just spread a little bit of this color a little more vertically just to create even more chaos. <laughs> oh gosh, I love it. Some years you're like, I'm just gonna paint the flag that looks like the flag, which is fine and dandy, like Yankee Doodle. <laughs> but this is just not that year, people. This is not that year. And um, I guess, I guess my feelings of chaos are gonna show in this picture. Um, but hopefully what it says is that there's chaos, but in the chaos it all comes together to make one beautiful piece and we can all actually in the end come together and uh, create something wonderful out of whatever's going on. Let's see. Mm, I like it you guys. I'm really liking this one. This is fun. And the problem is, is that I'm having so much fun I'm not gonna know when to stop myself. I think I'm about there. I think I'm about there. That's cool. Yeah, that one's cool. Um, I think what I want to do is see if I can drag some of this blue just out this way a little bit. Just a little. Let me grab a little bit of that. Where should I put it down here? Yep. All right, so we're just grabbing a little bit of blues to pull through here. I like that. I do like that, my friends. This was fun. I hope you guys had a good time with this. I am hoping I can go live a little bit more often in the near future. We shall see. Facebook's reach is really terrible, you guys. And um, like I paid for ads and my reach was down this month. Is anybody else here like pay for ads? because they're trying to um, help other people in the world. <laughs> and so, so you pay for these ads on Facebook and then my reach went down by a lot when I started paying for the ads because of the you know time that we're living in right now. But the only way to really get it out there at this point is to go live and uh, to ask you guys to click that button and uh, it says S-H-A-R-E and let your friends know what we're doing over here and we're just painting and having some fun. So. Here's the second one we just finished. This is um, the, the American flag. <laughs> this is the American flag for 2020. I was gonna write vote in it. I still kind of want to, um, but I kind of don't. So I'm gonna leave it for now. This is it on paper. And then this is the one I did originally on canvas. Mm. You guys, I was loving this one until I got to this one. Now I love this one. I'm gonna have to post both of them and let you guys decide. But I love this one more, I think. It's just more chaotic. I might go in and add to this one. Yeah, I'm probably gonna go back. We'll have to do this in another video. I'll post this and take pictures and see. Do we like this one better, one, or number two better? I like number two better. So I think I'm gonna end up adding to this one and uh, make it a little bit more chaotic. We shall see. All right, friends, that's where we're at today. I hope y'all have fun. Remember, if you have not yet voted, go out and vote. Whatever your vote is, is your business, but whatever it is, just go out and let your voice be heard. Um, wear your mask, if that's what you do where you're at. Um, keep everyone safe and uh, just get your voice out there. All right, it's important. People fought and died for our right to do this. So um, let's honor them and everything to, uh, make that happen. All right, friends, God bless you. Go vote and have a wonderful day today. All right. Bye guys.